Energy giant BP has reported record profits for the past year of £23 billion, its biggest profit in its 114 year history. This is absolutely gut wrenching for all of us who've wrapped up astronomical energy bills over the past few months, just trying to keep warm and avoid illness. The instinctive reaction is to do what Shadow Secretary for Climate Change and Net Zero Ed Miliband has done and call for energy companies like BP to pay higher taxes. But if we ramp up the taxes of successful British based businesses like BP, they simply take their businesses and set up somewhere else where they can get a better tax deal. Instead, our government punishes middle income Britain with punitive taxes because they know they won't leave the UK. They've got kids in school in the UK. They've got elderly parents in the UK that need looking after. And most middle income, middle aged people in the UK have come through a useless university system that left them with no actual job skills and has seen them end up with careers in management and HR and marketing, meaning that if they did want to move abroad, they really have nothing much to bring to the table professionally when pursuing career options. Clearly, the Russia-Ukraine conflict is proving incredibly lucrative for a number of profiteering giant energy companies and their shareholders who occupy senior positions in governments around the world. And that's why after a year, it shows no signs of ending. The longer the war can be dragged out for, the more profits for energy companies and their shareholders. And it's hardworking, middle-income, productive members of society that foot the bill, seeing price rises everywhere for everything as a direct consequence of the global gas and oil extortion and being hammered with extremely high tax rates. You would think in a democracy, we might be able to vote our way out of this situation. But in the UK and several other countries, the democratic process has been rendered obsolete by a lack of options, with every major political party pushing the same policies and the same agenda and pushing us further into poverty, destroying any quality of life we might have had and making survivalism the new everyday normality of people's lives. In a landscape of ruthless geopolitical greed, dishonesty and corruption, where it increasingly seems that we cannot trust anyone or any organisation, we descend ever more into individualism, everybody looking out for themselves. People don't even look out for their families anymore. Family values in the West having been eroded by decades of mainstream media propaganda and relentless attacks on traditional morality. We carry on as best we can, working hard, paying our bills, amassing debt in the beleaguered hope that things will get better. When our systems of government and structures of civilization have become so dysfunctional that our lives are intolerable as a result, then the natural progression is violence and anarchy. And that's the road we're on. Please do like and subscribe and support my content via Patreon or PayPal by following the links below this video.